Hello everyone on YouTube, Shadow one here, I'm back from my trip up to Ohio. And here is a little bit of a video of the footage I shot on my iPhone, my new iPhone, when, you know, it's not a big deal. In this video I'll be narrating a little bit and showing you guys where I went and what I did and places I visited, the places I know as a kid and I haven't been to in such a long time. There'll be a little, very little narration throughout, it'll just be me talking to my phone mostly. But when something specific comes up from my past that I like to talk about, I might intervene just to cut in and explain what might be happening in the shot. So all these videos and photos you're going to see in this long video, unfortunately, is all set to my grandmother's 80th birthday. We went up for four days just to spend some time with her. We went to a house day game and etc. And honestly, you guys are going to see it all for yourselves. And in fact, October 10th is actually my grandmother's birthday. But we, we just went up because that was the only chance we had and because she was also going to go on a trip herself so it was kind of perfect that my entire family could get together just for this one occasion and it's it was great and i really enjoyed it so i hope you guys enjoy it all right get on with the show <sighs> gotta get out of that freaking like car every once in a while oh so we're at martha's country gifts oh vineyard oh family like barn wonder if everyone can see that let's see if we can get that Good picture of that apple, Martha's apple. This is a place I used to go to as a kid all the time. It's been years since I've been here. It hasn't changed one bit in like a decade. It's awesome. They have individual ones. <laughs> <laughs> Has not changed one bit. <sighs> Apple cider. That's oh, yeah, solid. <sighs> Say Ooh, hi. Hi. <laughs> Got some, we're dr drinking apple cider. This apple cider is really, really good. I know. Did I, you want I, it? No, I'm not crazy about cider, honey. Oh. No. Neither am I, and I love it. Well, did you get it? Apple cider. It's delicious. That's where they make all the apples. Let's see if we can zoom in on a little bit. That's awesome. That's filling up the apple juice right now. Oh, it's actually it's even going in right now. That's awesome. Red Delicious apples. My favorite apples. This place is awesome. Huh. This place is still here. I haven't, I haven't been here in like 10 years. Actually, I haven't probably been here any, even longer because I moved down to Florida a few, few years ago. And this, this place is pretty awesome. It still brings back a lot of memories. I thought we were going to go pick apples, but it's not going to happen. It's where fresh apple cider comes out. That's where I got my drink. It's pretty sweet, as you can notice. As I'm trying not to look crazy talking to myself. <laughs> I actually wear wearing a lot, a lot of warm clothing because it's actually pretty chilly out. But not to me, you know. From Florida, living in Florida, but not from Florida. I am from Ohio. This is where I live. Yeah. I'm also eating a powdered donut. <laughs> As you can tell, the weather here is not quite so great compared to Florida. It's actually been raining. It's cloudy. It's very dark over there. And we're about to leave uh, McQueen's Apple Barn and Cider Mill in a few minutes. I was hoping to be picking some apples, but apparently it's not going to happen. So, just got some apples that were already picked and some apple cider. Otherwise, it's time to get going. So the first first part of the trip is done. See you guys later. I'm at my grandmother's house, uh, my mom's mom's grandmother's house, and I just found out that. I didn't realize this before that it's kind of an ironic twist because I'm the shadow of one. So her cat is called Shadow. No, but 
Shadowed one one. Twist of fate. Let's see if the cat's under the hat. Oh, yes, there you are. Hey, Shadow. That's Shadow. Probably can't see him, but his eyes are there. Oh, I can definitely see you, buddy. <laughs> it all comes for a circle. Toys R Us. I'm just gonna go raspberry and orange. <laughs> I'm surprised by how much this is not Mr. Freeze has changed at all. That's awesome. Getting my phone wet. Just absolute. Just raining. Last time I came here a long time ago was when I got Bizon and Fenrak. I remember I came from Toys R Us, and I came right here to get ice cream in 2006, summer 2006. I had a on Fenrak. That was, I think that was one of the best days of my life. <laughs> Just coming, getting one of my favorite Bionicle sets and then eating ice cream from my favorite ice cream place. Memories do come true. This is awesome. I'm just waiting for my ice cream right now. Hello, interruption. All the ice cream we bought at Mr. Freeze that day cost four dollars. We had, we had like some, these cones, that cone right there only cost like maybe like a dollar fifty or whatever, and we had like we had about three of those for my dad, my sister, and I, and it all cost four dollars. When something like that today in Florida would cost like twenty dollars, it's insane. That's why Mr. Freeze is the best ice cream place you can ever go to. This is a small. Yeah, I'm gonna a bite of your raspberry. No, no, mine. Can you send me that picture? I'm I'm not taking a picture. I'm taking a video. Wait, no, take I'm doing a picture. So I'm way more useful than that. Uh, 360. This is a small color. That's small, that's small. All right, leaving Mr. Freeze. Sadness. Ah, ah, ah. Mr. Freeze. The end. That's the end. Really, nothing's changed. We are at Hal State, and is that a mush is that a mushroom or an ice cream cone? I have no clue. It's it's really weird. Hey. Hey. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hey, this is the park we always went to. Yeah. Ding, ding. I remember coming down here all the time. It's a nice, nice little park. All the geese were down there. I remember all the geese always falling over. Are there geese down there too? No, I don't see any right now. Go watch the Ohio State Buckeyes. Stadium gates opened two hours prior to kickoff. Bags are not permitted into the stadium. All guests entering the stadium are subject to security screening and inspection. Bags are not permitted into the stadium. All guests entering the stadium are subject to security screening and inspection. Guests will enter in two hours prior to kickoff. Bags are not permitted into the stadium.
got feels like an Urukai march. Finish the game. It was 58 to zero. You wanted 60 though. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry for your loss. Well, that concludes. Happy birthday, Grandma. Oh, thank you. Thank you. And now we're unfortunately heading home. I know, but I'm so glad you came. You're welcome. Oh gosh, Grandma had such a good time. My party, my going to the ball game, all the good eating out. I never go those places by myself, you know? Well, that's why we love you. That's why I love you. I love you more reasons than that, though. <laughs> and that concludes my trip to Ohio and for my grandma's birthday. Happy birthday, Grandma, if you ever watch this. I hope you guys enjoyed.